Hello, welcome to Happy Fun Times with Unity 3D. Uh, first thing we need to do is create a new project. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I will open the Unity, uh, Happy Fun Times Unity package. You should be able to find that in the Asset Store. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to import it. Uh, it should be on my desktop. So find it on the desktop, click on it, open it, and then import everything. I will then go to the Happy Fun Times folder. Happy Fun Times folder is just a sample, so we'll go in there. Uh, inside you should find a scenes folder, and I'm gonna open the one scene in there. And so now uh, you should click Run. Uh, if you've never installed Happy Fun Times before, it'll ask you to install it. So go ahead and install it, uh, then stop Unity playing and start it again. It'll probably ask you for network permissions, so please give it those permissions and then it should be running. Uh, you might have to start and stop it again. Anyway, once it's running, um, open a browser. I'm going to open Chrome, and because that's my browser of choice. And then I'm going to size the window so I can see both the Unity, the game area, and Chrome at the same time. So we'll size it over here. And then I'm going to go to localhost uh, colon 18 six seven nine and that will connect me to the game and you can see here we are we're controlling something in the browser which is controlling something in unity uh, to simulate a few more players let's make the window smaller and open a few new ones and again we'll go to localhost one eight six seven nine and you know, we've got a second player do it again we've got a third player and this is a great way to kind of test things sometimes um, instead of having gathered your phone it's easy to debug for example in a browser of course, you can also use, uh, if you have one, you can use a, a simulator. So I'm going to open up the iOS simulator. Once the simulator is running, I'm going to open Safari. I'm going to go to localhost 18769. 18679. Sorry, I'm dyslexic sometimes. And you can see, here we are. We've got uh, a fourth player, and it's working. So of course, what this is going to do is use real phones. So I'm going to get out my Nexus 5. And the first thing we need to do is check we're on the same Wi-Fi. Uh, so we're going to check I'm on the terminal's Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to go into my settings on the phone and double check that I'm on the terminal Wi-Fi. So go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, terminal, yep, it's on. All right. So then I'm going to go to Chrome on Android. And again, this time I'm going to go to happyfuntimes.net. And what that will do is it will redirect us back into the same machine that's running our game. So go to happyfuntimes.net, and it should, in a moment, uh, connect us. And so here we are. We are connected to Unity through the phone. And you can see that works. Also, when I pick up the white dot, you can see the score come through. That means the game is communicating with the phone as well as the phone communicating with the game. I'm going to pull out my iPhone and do the same thing. I happen to know it's already on the terminal's Wi-Fi, so I'll just scroll over to Safari and again go to happyfuntimes.net. You'll notice this time it asked me for a name. It tries to only ask for that once, and then from then on it'll try to use the same name. So uh, the other phone was already set. This one's not. I'm going to type my name in Gman, and you should see it connect. And there we go. We've got both phones connected green G-man and a purple somebody else. Um, one thing you'll notice is that here I'll stop Unity in a moment and I will, uh, you'll notice the phones will disconnect and when I pick play they'll reconnect. And so that's pretty useful for uh, when you're testing, you don't have to go back and do the whole phone rigmarole again. Of course if your phone goes to sleep you probably have to do something, but <laughs> um, it is pretty useful to see them just auto reconnect. A couple other things I want to show you is uh, if you go to the Windows menu, there's a Happy Fun Times menu now, and you can find docs, uh, troubleshooting support, and a bunch of examples. The simple example is the one you just saw. Uh, the 2D platform example is the is actually the Unity 2D platform example, but with Happy Fun Times support added. Uh, the character controller example is an old Unity example, but uh, it'll show you how to use the 3D character. Um, device orientation and acceleration shows you how to like use the tilt and, and acceleration of the phone. Players and Scene is an example that you might find useful if you ha already have a game that only supports, say, one, two, or four players, and you just want to connect your phones to those players that are already in the scene. 
most of the other games are designed for kind of unlimited players. Uh, I've had 92 players in, in a game once. The last example, multi-machine, is, is something that you might use in a museum. Uh, it's a multi-machine game where the machine runs across multiple game, multiple, the game runs across multiple machines and like players can walk from one machine to another. Um, so that's kind of cool. One other thing I want to show you is there's also Super Happy Fun Times, which is a website that's a gallery of games that people have made, examples and things like that. So you can pull it up. Uh, yeah, and you can see there's a bunch of samples there, some games that friends have made, some games that students have made. Um, as uh, If you make a game and it's open source, you're welcome to put it there. Currently, I only support open source because it means that GitHub can uh, will host the assets and I don't have to pay to do that. Uh, maybe at some point uh, we'll figure out a way to do other places other than GitHub and commercial games, but at the moment it's all just open source games. So you're welcome to post your game there. Just remember, if you put it on GitHub, you need to make sure all your assets are open source and you give credit where credit's due. So yeah. Um, the rest of uh, Happy Fun Times is also open source. So if you want, uh, you can go to gregman.github.io slash happyfuntimes. And uh, that will be like the homepage for Happy Fun Times, which will hopefully give you some other ideas. Um, you can also go to just docs.happyfuntimes.net, which is the same page. And there's some cool ideas there, some things you might not have thought of, because uh, Happy Fun Times opens a lot of uh, possibilities for things you haven't done yet, because of all the things the phone can do. Uh, also, if you want to contribute, uh, I'm looking forward to contributions, but mostly I want to see your games. So make some cool games, uh, send me a link, and yeah, uh, let's have some happy fun times.